Hey Savvy People, it's Savvy Nick here and today we're exploring the brand new redesigned Paint app in Windows 11. I'm actually a little excited for this one. This is typically where I make my quick sketches and I do enjoy using Paint. So let's check out what's new here with this version. I'm kind of surprised they made a little bit of an overhaul here in the Paint app. I thought the last version worked just fine, but to my amazement, I think this one's going to be even better. They've eliminated the ribbons up top and now you have access to just about everything you need right away in this subdivided all-encompassing layout of objects that you can select. Now it's very easy to select something and start drawing right away as it was before, but I got to say I like this layout a little bit better. We still have all the things that you would expect like rotating objects, mirroring them real quick, also resizing, and then of course one of my favorite things is the select tool, select the portion, move it around very quickly. It makes for editing things really quick, especially if you're trying to destroy them like I am here. We also have a free form select. So if I wanted to select an object freely, I can. Some more stuff down here in this drop down. We have an invert selection, transparent selection, and a delete. If we want to resize things, we can either by selection. So for example, if we want to do 110% here, that just resizes everything currently selected by 10%. We have our magnifier, our color picker still, eraser. Really there's not many new tools added here, but more of the fact that the redesign here looks a little better. We have a more rounded experience around the edges of the application, a more modern UI to use, some more expansive color selection over here on the right hand side, easier to access some of these tools in my opinion, which makes it even better. And then if you go through brushes, you of course have your various different brushes. I'll work on something abstract here in a moment. As you can tell, my art is very great indeed. We'll throw some airbrush in there. And here on the furthest left-hand side, we have a cut tool. If we do use a selection, let's do the rectangular selection. I can cut something out and then use this over here on the left-hand side to paste right back in that cutout selection. Of course, if you're using brushes, you can adjust the brush size over here on the right-hand side up to eight pixels. And up top gives you the options to save, undo, or redo. View, which some of my favorite things are grid lines, makes it a little easier, especially if you're doing some sort of 2D boxed art. Status bar, if you need it at the bottom, which is also nice because you might be used to this by default. It lets you zoom in, zoom out real quick, as well as tells you the current canvas size and and the location of your pointer. Under view, we still have a full screen mode if you wanna just see everything in full screen. If you wanna go back to 100% view, and then in file, we have all the normal stuff such as new, open, recent, save, save as, printing, sending, or sharing. You can also set your desktop background right away from here if you're enjoying your art. Check out the image properties and of course access settings. Well, that's about it. We went through the app real quick, just a more modern UI, a little bit of a better layout in my opinion. They didn't take out a bunch of tools or add a bunch of tools in. That would mess up your flow. It's still the same old paint app, just more modern. And that's about it. If you have any questions, comments, or suggestions, please make sure to post them in the comments section below. Also make sure to subscribe for future videos and make sure to like the video. Catch me in a great community on Discord and I'll catch you in another video. Thanks for watching.